Wait. News of another two week wait. Wait. Before the end of the stay at home order is putting businesses with a green light to open at a bit of a crossroads. It's something. It's definitely not going to get us back to where we want to be, but. Um, if any any little step is going to help. Jeremy Nielsen says the gaming goat in St. Paul wouldn't have made it without a flexible landlord and a customer base that has tried to follow them online. And of course, they sold out of the game pandemic on day one. But with sales down 80 percent and federal relief yet to come in, he's anxious to start curbside service and appointment shopping next week. It's been just a constant struggle to figure out how I'm going to make it through to the other side of this. We just want to be here when standing when it's all over with. Natalie Montaneri and her sister Leslie Zimmerman were relieved to hear their family chain of hub hobby stores can finally begin planning for the future. We were, were very excited to start the process of opening back up. But they say that process will take time. That's because providing basics like cleaning supplies and PPE for employees is easier said than done. It's hard to get your hands on all that stuff right now. I'm going to the store every day to get the limit of one uh, cleaning supplies. And just because the state says 30,000 people are eligible to return to work Monday, it doesn't mean everyone will. Sure, Some yeah. employees are like, when can I come back? I'm, I'm stir crazy at home. And then we have other employees that are scared and, and we don't want them to be uncomfortable coming back either. So it's a hard thing. Which is why they say this phased in approach Wait. isn't a bad idea. As bummed out as I am about an extension of it, I am still fully supportive that we are doing things from a science-based, fact-based standpoint and that we're getting things done in as good a way as we can. The way, the reason why Jeremy says he's bummed out is because he wishes the state had a little bit more flexibility for smaller businesses like his. He says he could open his doors because he could have just one or two customers in at a time and he doesn't have nearly the size of the workforce that many others do. Back to you. Yeah, understandable. I think a lot of people feel that way tonight. Thank you, Kent.